morning guys, how are you guys doing? I hope great. Um, just getting ready for work. Katie's going to a birthday party today. Uh, one of her little cousins or nephews or someone is turning one. So she's really excited. They're going to Peter Piper Pizza. She's super excited. Um, I have work here in a little while and pretty much just getting ready and hanging around the house. Did you guys hear about the volcano in Indonesia? It's already killed 14 people and there's a bunch of people still missing. But apparently it has been active for the past four months and they've had like a little bit of sputtering and they've had a little bit of lava come out of it with a little bit of gas but nothing major. They allowed people to go home Friday, yesterday, and then it exploded. It's horrible. There's a lot of people that have been evacuated. There's 30,000 people evacuated. 14,000 were allowed to go back home yesterday and those 14,000 people had to re-evacuate because of the volcano. Um, there was a journalist that passed away and there was a teacher with three or four students. They were going up closer to the lava to go see it like in closer, see it up close, which I don't see why you would do that when you know there's an active volcano that could explode at any given point. Just my opinion. But the teacher and all the students that were up there died as well. Um, definitely go out, my heart goes out to all the people and families out there that are going through all this because even though they have no control over it, it's still really tough to go through, especially if you lose your house, um, losing your family, your friends, people you love and care about. Um, I don't know, I, it touched me this morning. I was reading about it and I figured I'd share it with you guys. Uh, go look it up and maybe they'll eventually have video later for you guys. They were trying to rescue people, but... There's so much smoke and so much blackness that they can't even see, so they have to hold off on finding people. So the number that they have right now for people that are dead is 14, but they have tons and tons of people that are still missing. Um, they're finding bodies like two, three, four miles away from the volcano that have been burned severely. It's I'm sure it's something very, very sad to see. Um, the picture that I saw for it was a bunch of black clouds, just huge, puffy black clouds, and... Um, a boy running for his life, pretty much. Um, let's see. I did have a, a response for one of my viewers, Space Cow, asked how or what's going on with my tonsils. Um, they're still a bit swollen. I'm on medication until Wednesday. If the swelling doesn't go down or it comes back within like the weeks prior to taking the medication, I have to go back in and get my tonsils removed. So I am hoping. I don't have to go in to get my tonsils removed because I really don't want to have to deal with that. The recovery time is forever and I just don't want to go through it. <laughs> but if I need it, I will. They say the older you get, the more dangerous it is. So I guess while I'm still young, I should get them taken out, but whatever. Uh, it's snowed yesterday quite a bit and there's still quite a bit of snow out there. It's supposed to snow today and like four days out of the five next week. I think there was supposed to be Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday snow next week, which is pretty exciting. So I am going to go eat some lunch because I'm starving and finish getting ready, Katie ready for her party. I will see you guys tonight when I get home from work.